fuck. Oh, fucking hate the rain. Get this bitch in here. Oh. <gasps> Hey guys, I'm Tatiana. If you don't know me, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today, I am filming my Gucci shoe unboxing. I got like a couple days ago. I did film it the day I did get them, but I looked back at the footage and it was absolute fucking trash. So, I am heading to my sister's house right now so I can film with some studio lights because my house is a piece of shit and there is no good lighting and it is pouring right now so real college yeah y'all can drive in the rain with me real quick it's an avril of bean kind of day you feel me bitch bitch i fucking hate you you always be doing some fucking dumbass shit over here my mirror is so foggy it's all to me my keys she keeping up with the kardashians now see you i always have she got us in and out i remember i was like i'm watching keeping up with the kardashians and you were like where do you watch it i know hi lucky this is lucky he's super fucking old he's like 15 years old literally he has a snaggle tooth he's pretty cute he's so old <laughs> that he can't cry anymore. Like, he can't bark, he can't cry. He just snorts and he just wheezes when he wants attention. You're so cute. Say bye. Say bye. Bye. Love you, Lucky. All right, now I'm gonna do my unboxing. What the fuck? What the fuck? Everyone, everything changed. Every single time I come here, something has changed. Banana. This doesn't really want to make me communicate, Sue. All right, guys. Sorry if the lighting is kind of wonky because one, it's raining and there is no sun. And two, I only have this little soft box that is on the floor because I'm too lazy to unplug and reset up the other lights, so. We ended up getting like this standard Gucci bag and I'm kind of salty about it because I know that they have these flower bags, but we got these standard ass, basic ass Gucci bags and yeah. Anyways, this is the box. Um, What I have noticed is that 
the box for this shoe or at least for the one that I got doesn't have any label on it like usually and with all my other Gucci shoes they have like a label on the box somewhere usually I forgot if it's on the side over here or if it's in the front over here somewhere on the sides of the box there's like a label and it shows the shoes name the price a like a little illustrated picture of the shoe and the product like number or something but this one has nothing it's just a plain box so let me finally open up the box again inside of the box just like a normal gucci box you get this thing i never read it actually let me read it for once and see what it is Oh, it just says like Gucci's product is manufactured and blah, 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 no one cares, but it's a cool little paper to have because it says Gucci on it. Next, they give us this satin, two satin shoe drawstring bags. So I talked to my sister the day I got it because I unboxed it already, but um, I'm unboxing it again because I didn't like the footage of the last one that I shot. Um, I swear... Every other Gucci shoe that I have, the person would personally, like, put the shoe in here with, like, the plastic bag in it. But they just gave us, like, the drawstring bags, like, on the side. That kind of pissed me off because you're paying a lot of money and the least they can fucking do is put the shoe in these goddamn satin fucking Gucci drawstring bags. But they can't even do that. Anyways. I'll get on to why... All this is like pissing me off in a second but yeah I'm gonna continue unboxing and I'll get to that later so this is the shoe it's so cute so I made my sister hold up the lights so you guys can see the color better um, it's not white it's like what would you call this it's like an a beigey off-white color like it's like like a dad shoe. Yeah, like a dad dirty shoe white. Yeah. And it has the Gucci logo on here on the side of the shoe. Other side doesn't have anything. So you got to stand slanted for pictures if you want people to know they're Gucci shoes. The same thing for other shoe. It's on the side. Um, one side only. I'm finally going to take it out the plastic. I have this really weird obsession with keeping clothes and shoes in the bag and packaging that it came in because it makes me feel like it's still brand new and it makes me feel better about myself but um yeah i don't like taking it out of the plastic for some reason i don't know it makes me feel uneasy it makes me feel uncomfortable but yeah this is the shoe without the plastic the bottom of the shoe it's a size six and a half the guy was like we, the smallest shoe size that we have is an eight. And I was like, um, the display is a seven and a half. And he was like, let me go check. He came back and he's like, oh, actually we have a size six and a half. And then I was like, okay, can I try it on? And then he was like, he was like, they're going to be too big for you. Or like, he kept, he just kept saying shit to like deter me away from trying to, for trying on these shoes. Probably because he thought that we were young and that we're not actually going to buy the shoes and he didn't want to waste any time on us. But either way, he should have let me try it on the shoes without all the excess bullshit. But yeah, they're so cute. I've been wanting these for so long. I mean, when did they drop? Like a few months ago. Like feel... But this is my first time seeing it in stores. I feel like they dropped it online first yeah. and then in stores. It was on, actually it was on pre-order online for a while. Yeah, but we went to the Gucci store a couple days ago. Um, and we were trying to find her sunglasses, my sister's sunglasses. Because she wants sunglasses. And we found these shoes instead. And they didn't have the sunglasses, so we got these shoes instead. They're so cute. Oh. Ah! The lights! <laughs> it's hard doing this with one hand. <laughs> Get out! Get out, you bitch! Why is it so big? Ugh. Oh my god, that's a huge... Tissue paper? They literally put tissue paper in the shoe. Oh. Isn't that normal? Usually they put like 
paper towels like you know like the paper restaurant towel. like the shitty ass like paper towels that you get from like diners <laughs> yeah that's what they usually put in there not gucci they give you fucking fancy paper towels and it says gucci inside the shoe made in italy and i'll show you guys what it looks like on the feet so when i first tried on the shoes the guy wouldn't even let me walk around the fucking gucci store with them on he was literally like don't step off the carpet he literally told me don't step off the carpet so you know what bitch i'm not stepping off the carpet shoes so cute <laughs> those are so cute i want one i want the the one that says gucci around this like a rectangle you know how like people like stand like this yeah pigeon toed feet i see a lot of korean I see, yeah, Instagrammers. I see a lot of Asian people like stand like this yeah <laughs> like for outfit pictures yeah <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so my sister got these pants from IMG, and look how she's so skinny and she's so short, and look how big they are on her. I lost oh. the. <laughs> 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 Wait, what? Well, what did they say again? I forgot. What? Ex expectations. IMG is like yeah. Instagram versus fucking re. <laughs> She literally looks like those emo people mm -hmm. dancing. It under the bridge. Yeah, under the bridge, the raving, the raving emo people. The raving <laughs> yeah. I mean, the chains are no, cute. Too old to go, right? Like I don't get it. Like even on I like IMG pants are still really big on me, and they're really like. How does short they're people really, wear this shit? Yeah, like it's like not meant for even short if people. I were to wear heels, it would just be like a mess. You have to cuff them, like my pants that I wore but on these Instagram come the other day. Zippers, so you can't cuff. Wait, actually, let's see. Yeah, you can. You can cuff zippers. Ew, just this is supposed to be. <laughs> okay, that are. doesn't even look good. Oh this, my god. This is supposed to be where my knees are. You can't fix this shit. Wow. I am Gia. You need to fix your fucking leg length. Because who in the hell is seven foot tall and can fix these? I am Gia. I am talking to you. Bitch. Alright guys, so I told you guys I would do a little rant, so I'm gonna rant real quick. We walked into the Gucci store and this guy, like he was like really young too. Like he was like, I would say like in his late 20s, like... 25 28 this lighting makes me look really washed out let me change it okay this looks a lot better anyways this guy was like 28 25 28 years old and um he was just being like a douchebag like like we walked into the store and like i wasn't even dressing that bummy that day we weren't even dressing bummy that day my sister was wearing a louis vuitton purse like but anyways <coughs> excuse me I'm losing my voice because I've been talking too much. But yeah, he he was just like treating us badly the whole time. He was like side-eyeing us. Um, I have his name and I have his motherfucking salesperson ID number on the goddamn receipt, bitch. So I'm probably not going to call because that's kind of petty. I don't really care that much. It's just like... I don't know, I just don't care that much. I don't wanna waste any more time with it. I don't wanna waste my energy on it, you know? But anyways, yeah, he was treating us badly and um, we saw the shoes and we were like, oh my God, these shoes are so cute. He comes over and he's like, how may I help you? And we were like, what's the smallest size? And then I explained earlier into the video, he was like, oh, the smallest size is size eight, blah, 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 go on try on the shoes i try it on and i'm like oh shit it's not even big on me like i can still walk in these like like i can work with them and he was like oh i thought they were gonna be too big on you and i was like no they fit and he was like 
okay and anyways he comes back and i'm like walking around the store to like see if my feet slip out of the shoe it doesn't so i decide to get them and he's like don't walk on the carpet or no he says stay on the carpet he says don't walk anywhere else stay on the fucking carpet he doesn't say fucking but he says stay on the carpet which is still rude like still s the same amount of rudeness in my opinion like i'm gonna buy these shoes i can walk wherever the fuck i want on them i can walk on the goddamn moon with them if i want to okay bitch anyways end up buying the shoes and I can't remember if I asked for water or if he asked if we wanted water. We ended up getting some water. The water tasted really badly. It tastes like metal. Just kidding. That's what my little sister said. I thought it tasted fine. And anyways, um, the main point of this little rant was to say that Gucci sales ma salesperson or designer clothing salesperson people stop treating young people like shit because it makes them feel badly about themselves and some of them actually got money and some of them will most likely give you money and y'all are running on fucking commission so y'all need the goddamn money so stop treating people like shit yeah i got the receipt right here i should probably block his name out and our name out yeah the shoes were 883 and 55 cents salesperson clinton go fuck yourself um tax was 63 dollars and 55 cents if i lived in nevada it would have only cost me 820 dollars but i had to pay this much that's the end of this video subscribe like um put my bell notif turn the click on the bell whatever and yeah i'll see you guys on the next one bye